Have you ever had lilacs before? They have a delicate, sweet, and floral flavor that pairs perfectly with lemon. It tastes less like lavender and more like elderflower. The soft, moist, zesty, over-the-top cake just had to be dedicated to Queen Charlotte from Bridgerton. Welcome to my Bridgerton series, where I share desserts inspired by the characters in Bridgerton. Queen Charlotte's hair is a vibe throughout the whole series, and it kind of looks like a lilac bush. She would love the soft, moist layers held together with a velvety cream cheese lemon frosting. Prep three. 8 inch round baking pans by greasing with a pat of cold butter and lining the bottoms with pregnant paper. To give the cake layers all the lemon flavor without using lemon extract, combine freshly grated lemon zest and granulated sugar and rub it all together until moist and fragrant. I also added my lilac petals into there for extra lilac flavor. The sensory experience in this process is just incredible. Add softened butter and your neutral oil of choice, I used grapeseed oil. The butter will give the cake all of that flavor and the vegetable oil will keep it moist for days. It's really the best of both worlds. Add room temperature eggs one at a time, beating to combine, and add your lemon juice. Full fat sour cream goes right into the same bowl and beat it together to combine. Sift your flour and baking powder right into the same bowl. Sifting breaks up the lumps in the flour and really improves the cake texture. Fold about halfway just until it starts coming together and add your room temperature buttermilk. Continue folding just until you stop seeing dry streaks of flour. Don't overmix because you're going to end up with a dense rubbery cake. Divide the batter evenly amongst the three baking pans. You can use a scale or I used a cookie scoop to make sure that they're perfectly even. While they bake and cool, get started on the lilac syrup. You can make the lilac syrup way out of time and any leftover lilac syrup is so good in lemonade. And if you can't find any lilac syrup, use store-bought elderflower syrup. Harvest the lilacs away from a road or place where they could be sprayed with chemicals. I gave them a quick wash and add sugar and water. Just three ingredients. Bring it to a simmer and let it cool with the petals still inside. The longer you let the petals sit, the stronger the flavor will be. Once it's cool, strain into a jar to remove all the petals. Pop it in the fridge and move on to the frosting. To start off, my butter was way too soft here. I had to pop my frosting into the fridge a couple of times. Definitely softened butter, not melted butter like I did here. Add powdered sugar in batches and beat until it's soft and fluffy. The longer you beat, the better your frosting will be. So just take a seat or use a stand mixer. Scrape the sides of the bowl frequently so that it all comes together smoothly and add lemon juice and lemon zest for flavor. Add the slightly softened cream cheese in chunks, beating well between each addition. If the frosting turns out too runny, you want to pop it in the fridge and beat it again. If it turns out grainy, then melt about a cup of the frosting in the microwave and add it back in and whip it back up. I added a dollop of frosting onto my cake stand so the cake doesn't slide around. Don't forget to peel the parchment paper off. Generously brush the lilac syrup over the cake. This will keep it so moist and so flavorful. Does using the word moist bother you? Let me know in the comments. I should probably stop using it, but how else would I describe this cake? wet layer cake syrup buttercream cake syrup buttercream until you use up all the layers cover the whole cake with frosting and smooth down the sides you could do a crumb coat where you cover the cake in a thin layer of frosting pop it in the freezer for 10 minutes and cover it with a thicker layer of frosting but i was making this for myself and i don't mind a couple of crumbs on my frosting so i just frosted the whole thing at the same time and there you have it a cake fit for a queen. Use a serrated knife to cut the slices and if in the rare chance you have some extras, they freeze really well. I wish it was lilac season all the time. What's your favorite Bridgerton character? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.